Hey everyone, this is Justin from RNDE Student Housing Assignments, and in this video, we're going to dive into tier levels and their function in the annual housing draw. In order to participate in the draw, you need to fill out a housing application in Access. If you have guaranteed years remaining, you will be required to select a tier level on your application. During your career as a Stanford student, you have three tiers you can use, Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. The tier level you choose dictates the range of numbers from which your random draw number will be assigned. When you select Tier 1, you will randomly be assigned a draw number between 1 and 1,000. For Tier 2, your draw number will be a random number between 1,001 and 2,000. And for Tier 3, your draw number will be a random number between 2,001 and 3,000. Anyone who is out of guaranteed years won't be asked to select a tier, but will automatically be assigned a random draw number between 3,001 and 3,500. The draw number dictates the order in which you are assigned. The lower the draw number, the sooner your application is considered, and the sooner your application is considered, the more likely you are to get your top housing choice. This means that when you select Tier 1, you will be considered for assignment before all of those students in Tiers 2 and 3. So you may be asking yourself, if Tier 1 yields the best numbers, why doesn't everyone just pick Tier 1? Well, that's because there are rules regarding your tier usage. Rising sophomores, those students who are currently freshmen but will be sophomores next autumn quarter, can only use Tiers 2 or 3. All students can only use Tier 1 once, and all students must use Tier 3 at least once. This means as a sophomore you can use Tier 2, as a junior Tier 3, and as a senior Tier 1, or, as a sophomore, you can use Tier 3 as a junior Tier 1 and as a senior Tier 2. Or, as a sophomore, you can use Tier 3 as a junior Tier 3 and as a senior Tier 1. It's up to you. The tier system may seem a little confusing at first, but it's designed to let you decide when you want your best shot at getting your most preferred housing. When you apply for the draw, you have the option of applying as a group. Every member of your group must use the same tier level, and all of the rules I just described still apply. This means if you're a rising sophomore and you want to live with a rising junior, you will have to draw Tier 2 or 3 because sophomores can't use Tier 1. Likewise, a rising senior who in the past used his Tier 2 and Tier 3, and another rising senior who already used her Tier 1 and Tier 2, would both have to draw Tier 3 if they wanted to stay in a group. This is because all students can only use Tier 1 once and must use Tier 3 at least once. If you're planning on applying with friends, I strongly suggest you check out our video on applying as a group. It has lots of information which will help you maximize your chances of being assigned with your friends. One final note, if you're a member of a housed Greek organization, your tier usage is a little different. We have a whole section on our draw website dedicated to Greek students. Check it out. And that's it when it comes to tier levels and the draw. Be sure to check out thedraw.stanford.edu for more videos like this and tons of great draw information and resources. If you have a question we want to hear from you, send us a help ticket at helpsu.stanford.edu, give us a call, or stop by our office. On behalf of everyone in RNDE, best of luck in this year's draw.